Hey guys, Obi here, and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Town. Okay, so one of the most requested things that I need to build in Tiny Town has been more zombies and a space station. You guys have been begging me to build a space station, and a lot of y'all have been saying, Obi, make the zombies spread out more. Because I have a little contaminated area, but that's it. I think. I think the zombies need to like, kind of like, bust out of their containment center, run across the world like this, and there's gonna be a rocket taken off, right? And the zombies are gonna leap onto the rocket and grab it like this, and then, I, I don't know where it goes after that. Maybe, maybe the zombies all hold down the rocket, or maybe the rocket just takes off, and then we have a space scene with zombies in space. I'm hyper. I'm very hyper today. Okay, anyways, we're gonna start building here, okay? Okay, I just gotta... Okay, I gotta put this down. Okie dokie. So the first thing we need to do is decide where our space chase is gonna be. Boom! Maybe right here, probably right here. Because it needs to be close to the zombie scene, right? So they can just break out and kind of walk down the street here. Plus, I don't know, this this spot seems a little, a little barren, doesn't it? Or maybe over here? Maybe behind that? The giant robot? Maybe he's defending this space station or something? Hmm. Am I already backwards? Am I already facing the wrong way? Yep, I sure was. Okay, hold on. This is the hard part. Clip, clap. Clip. Clip, clap. There it goes. I clip clapped it. What does that mean? I don't know. Okie dokie. Let's build some things today. Now, the first thing we need to do is expand out the area. Okay, expand. Maybe. Wait a minute. Hold on. I have an idea that has never been done before in life ever. Okay, this is a brilliant idea. Whoops, hold on. Let me shrink it down a little bit. Shrink it down. Whoa, whoa, right there. Yeah, that's a good shrinkage level there. Okay, so we're gonna build some water here, right? We're building the water. We're building it. Why does it not connect appropriately here? Am I gonna mess myself up by doing this? No, there's no way I can mess myself up. Okay, okay, start over. Everybody start, everybody calm down. Wait, why is it? Okay, okay, Obi, stop. Okay, so if you look closely or just, you can look however you want. It doesn't have to be close. You could even be far away if you wanted to. It's up to you. It's your life, little dude. You do whatever you want. But if you just use your eyeballs for like four seconds, you'll see I have water here. Now, what we're gonna be doing here is building a space island. Now, why am I deleting the water? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't... I'm, I'm winging it. Okay, I'm winging it. That's how I do. Wait, I want grass. Give me some of this... Give me some of this grass, you know? Like, why not? We're gonna have grass here. Now, also, how does zombies gonna get over here? Um... I have a plan for that, too. Okay, I know how the zombies are gonna get over here. But first, we need to build the foundation of our space station base of Rooney's here. So the space is gonna be like right here, okay? Like this, it's gonna be a little bit big, a little bit big, but it's gonna be surrounded by grass. Now, if I zoom in, that is pretty big. It's actually very big, but if I zoom out, it looks pretty small, but it's, it's okay to, it's okay to look small from zoomed out, as long as it looks good, you know? It's gonna look good here, so, hmm, wait, hold on. Something's not adding up here, because I didn't do this right, because OB doesn't plan to do things right today. Okay, Obi plans to do it all wrong today. Okay, so, eh, this one, <laughs> this one goes here? Obi, what, are you, what is happening? This one goes here, that one goes there? Okay, delete all the rest, and okay, and bop, 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 there we go, okay, here we go. Now, we are cooking with so many spices and butters, you don't even know, you don't even know. Okay, here's the foundation for our space station. We need to surround it by water first, actually, you know. We haven't even started building anything. I've been playing for like 20 minutes, it feels like. It's actually been like six. But I feel like I should have done something by now, but I haven't, you know, because that's what I do. We'll do one more row of water here to really solidify that this is an island, and then no one could ever question it. And boop. Okay. Boom. Wow, what a nice addition to the city, Obi. You have done good work today. Hey, thanks, dude. I appreciate you saying that. Okay. Now, the only way to get onto this island here would be by boat. Okay, by boat. But we're not going to worry about that yet. We're going to start focusing on space station stuffs. Okay, so space station stuffs is happening. Space 
spaceship. Go stop, stop. Uh, we don't need space to ground. We have this. Moon soil. Straight from the moon. And into the ocean it goes. We need buildings. So, we have a assortment of space buildings. The office building for space, okay? We're gonna have an observatory for space observing. This is a base camp. I think this goes on the moon. Put that there for now. What is this? A warehouse for spare parts. And is that every single... Ooh. Radio tower for communications. Okay. So. That's all our buildings. Let's go ahead and place our buildings down strategically here. Okay. So this... Maybe I needed to make this bigger. I don't, I don't know. This is an office building. So office buildings. It's going to be kind of like a secret base, but not really a secret. But office building there. An office building here, kind of facing towards the center of the place here. This will be... My observatory goes here. This will be here. I think this little white building goes on the moon, but I'm not entirely too sure here. Radio towers will go in the corners here. Next to the water, of course, right? That's how that works. Probably only need two. Probably don't need four. I was going to do one in each corner, but I don't think that's necessary here. This is a warehouse. So maybe what I should do here is... Should I make this bigger? That's kind of small now that I look at it. I thought this would be a lot bigger of a square, but it's really tiny. But, um, maybe the warehouse can go right here. Like that. I don't know. It looks so tiny, guys. We may need to expand this more. There we go, guys. I greatly increased the space that we have to play around and work in. So what we need now is, a, like, a rocket, obviously. We're going to need... Oh, space items! So this will be a launch pad here, right in the center like that. Um, what is this, a helipad? Ocean landing platform. Out here in the ocean like that. Okay. Model rocket. What? That should go in our neighborhood. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we do have meteors here. We're not worried about that. A satellite dish absolutely will go over here. Like right here. If I can grab it. There it goes. I want to space it like that. Okay. What else we got here? What are these? These are tethers. Okay, so this is stuff that I think goes on the moon. We don't need tethers on the ground here. Um, solar panel, I guess, can go up here. That's our observatory. That's for space stuff, but it's okay. Whoa, we got wired fences? How long has this been here? I had no idea. Well, that's really cool. Um... We're going to wire a fence around like this, around the property. I wish I knew they had wired fences in this game. I've been building all of them, like, manually. Oh, that's so cool. I love Tiny Town. I hope you guys are liking Tiny Town, too. There we go, guys. So I went ahead and I fenced off the entire thing. Now, we are going to have to make an opening somewhere over here so our people can get in and out of the space station, of course. But this looks really cool so far. I like that it's kind of, like, secluded, you know, kind of out of the way. This is a crate. So you got crate and stuff like that. Okay. Wait, what? This is space? What is this? A light pole for space? That's weird. Ooh, a fuel tank. We definitely need fuel tanks here. We're going to go ahead and put some fuel tanks over here. That's dangerous. You know what? Because this is where the fire would come out of the rocket. So maybe fuel tanks go back here. No, next to the warehouse. Yeah? We'll put one there and one at each corner, maybe? And maybe one more, huh? Go over here. We got three fuel tanks now. Kind of all spread out a little bit here. Next to important buildings. Oh, these are better launch pads? Um, I don't know if they're better or necessarily, but... Ooh, a launch tower. Absolutely need a launch tower, guys. Oh, that's looking really good. Do we want a red one? Maybe a red one for more color, yeah? Because as cool as that is, it's a little gray over here. So this will really help spruce it up the color, yeah? Oh, yeah. This is looking really cool so far. Okay. Now it's time to get some... Space people around here, you know. Space people here. Maybe he's like, you know what? We're going to have zombies in here. So we're going to have these people running away. Like, you know, already on the run. We haven't put the zombies in yet, but it's going to happen pretty soon. They're running. They're booking it. Oh, geez. They're getting out of here. Maybe this is a guy. Maybe he's holding like some kind of weapon here. He's a scientist and he's trying to hold off the zombie invasion because they're going to come from this direction here. So maybe he's back here like that. We'll give them some weapons pretty soon here. You know what? Maybe we should hold off on the people for now. Let's get the aesthetics going first, and we'll come back to the people here. So let's go to vehicles. Now, what kind of rocket do we want to use here? 
Something colorful, yeah? Ooh, maybe like this one here. That's... That's really tiny compared to that, that thing. Um, is there like one that's an appropriate size? Why is it so big? Is it supposed to be that big? Wow, there's a lot of rockets in here. I had no idea there were so many space rockets, guys. I'm just trying to find one that's an appropriate size here. Maybe I'll shrink this down. Oh! That's an actual spaceship rocket thing. That's super cool! So, I think it would go like right here, maybe? And this goes like... Where does this go? Here? I have no idea. Shrink this... I think shrink this down? I really don't know. I'm not a space guy. You know, obviously. Um, not sure how this is supposed to work. But we are going to have this blast it off. So maybe this is kind of like here. I don't know. Does that look like something? I don't know, guys. I really don't know. We're going to have a fuel truck over here. You know, he was getting some fuel and stuff like that. Um, what are these? Thrusters? Well, we don't need thrusters here. We're not really building our own kind of thing yet. We are going to go to workshop and get ourselves the fire here. We're blasting off, boys. We are blasting off at super high frequencies here. Is that going to connect for me perfectly? Probably not. There we go. So the rocket's on its way to take off here. We have the fuel tank over here. We got all the buildings we need. Now the hard part is going to be the zombies. How are we going to get them over here? It's just, I had an idea, but it's such a long shot. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, okay, so at first, let me go ahead and explain my idea. At first, I was going to make zombies, like, breaking out here and making a chain of zombies. Like, a huge bridge of zombies that come over here. But that would legit take, like, a couple hours to do. Because you'd have to do each and every single pose and position. It would take too long. So, instead, what we're going to do here is delete, del <laughs> delete these. We're going to have a dock here, right? With a boat coming in. And the boat harbored a zombie. Somehow a zombie got on board the ship here. And now we have issues. Okie dokie. So, what kind of ship was coming in to this place here? Maybe the police? No, not the police. Maybe like a scientist vessel. <laughs> I don't think it exists, though. Oh, guys. Okay, so maybe something like this. This was bringing in space equipment. You see? It's docked right here. We'll make a little dock here, too. It was docked here, but a zombie was inside of a crate. It broke out of the crate, and now it's infected this place. Maybe a whole crate full of zombies. Wait a minute. That means someone was behind this. Someone is sabotaging this. Okay, put that there. Let's build the dock. This is going to get crazy. Okay, so, so far, this is what I've gotten for the dock here. It's pretty big. It's pretty long here. I got little bumpers here for the ships to kind of pull up next to here. Um, we need we need some ramps now. Would be pretty cool to get. Um, uh, actually, let's go ahead and put some crates down here. This is where they were unloading the crates at, you know. I'll put a red one here. One of those are gonna contain zombies too, which I'm super excited to do. I need to get to that part though, you know. I gotta stop stalling. Gotta get to the part. I need a ramp, guys. Check out my little ramp here. This is actually a I think it's a vent or something. What is this? It's a cattle guard, but it looks like little like grippy things for a slippery ramp, doesn't it? Yeah! So the freight will be loaded off here. This is a big thing, by the way. Holy freaking moly. This thing will pull up here, I guess. And somehow they unload it with a giant crane. Yes! It's all coming together now. Okay, I know there's a giant crane somewhere in here. There has to be. Yes, guys, check it out. So this is how they're unloading the freight. Oh, too big, too big. Okay, hold on. This one here, yeah. Okay, so this would go, I guess, here. And if you ever played Grand Theft Auto, this was in Grand Theft Auto here. Can this go down more, please? Maybe, okay. Okay, um, um, does this go on land, actually? Like that? No, I think it goes, like, right here. Um, yeah, if you guys ever played Grand Theft Auto, there's a mission where you get to control this bad boy or something like that, and it's exactly like this. But I need this to go down. So I need the snapping to go completely off here. 
It has wheels. That makes us... We'll make it pretend like it's into water. Okay. Yeah, so this will kind of pull up here. This will unload into here or here or wherever. And, um... Yeah. Cool. Absolutely cool. So we got a little space thing going on here. Maybe this rock is kind of like... Up a little bit more like that. It's tilting. And you'll see why it's tilting in just a little bit here. Okay, so here are the crates that were kind of dropped off here, you know. Kind of like that. Maybe one's on top like that. Cool, cool. Okay, there we go. Got to look a little decent, right? Not bad, not bad. Now, we need to make one of these open. Maybe... Hold on. Maybe someone was open in the crates here. Let me get a scientist. Grab him. Let me expand just like that. So grab him. Whoops, too many, too many. And he's over here, and he was kind of opening this thing, you know? Maybe he was like kind of trying to pull open a door like that. Eh, it's so heavy, he can't get it. Now, is there any way we can make this kind of like dark so it looks like it's opening up? Okay, guys, so what I did here was I took a briefcase and I expanded it. So we're gonna pretend like the door was opening up and it's kind of black inside, it's hard to see. I wish there was a way I can get like a, just a, pick, <laughs> like a crate door opening. I want to make this look as cool as possible for you guys. There we go. Maybe we can pretend like this is the door opening right here. That kind of looks like an opening door. Yeah, he's pulling it open here. That the door was opening like that. And now we're going to make zombies pouring out of that bad boy. It's going to get scary. It's going to get weird. It's going to get crazy. The first zombie we're going to have is a... Uh... Um... Uh... Uh, who's my first zombie? Oh, we just picked one. Jeez, not a big deal. A burglar, dude. A, a, a prisoner. He's coming. Maybe he's like running out. Ah, he's coming out. He's coming out. Rawr. He's kind of running out of the shadows here. You never see it happening. Oh, jeez. Okay. So first we'll put the people, and then we'll give them their eyeballs and ooze later on. Guys, this is getting crazy, okay? I, I haven't even done anything yet, but I'm super excited for my zombie scene, okay? This guy's running out. This guy here is like, ah, we get ya. Oh, geez, he's still over here trying to open the door. He, it happened so fast. He didn't even have time to react. That's how crazy this is, guys. Now, I don't know if you guys ever seen a movie called World War Z. And this disclaimer, if you have it and you're young, it's very violent. Where are you guys? Oh, which way am I facing? Uh, I think you guys are that way. Yep, I'm using my feet as guidance. Uh, disclaimer, it's a very violent movie. And it's a zombie movie. And it's very scary. Um, so if you're young... You know, make sure you have permission to watch it, but it's very scary and has a lot of gore. But these are the kind of zombies. In that movie, the zombies are very, very fast. They're very fast runners, and they're very aggressive. So that's the kind of zombies I'm going for here. If we have one lady kind of crawling out. You know, she's crawling. Or one zombie, I mean. Crawling a little bit. Crawling zombie. Brains. 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 Oh, this is looking really creepy, isn't it? Jeez. Once I get them the eyeballs and stuff, too. Yeah, that's gonna be nuts. So something they did in the movie I was talking about earlier was they would, like, they had a big wall, right? And they would all pile on top of each other. Or they would all, like, string together and try to pull something down. So they're all grabbing onto this rocket now. The rocket's kind of, like, it's off balance now. It's pulling forward now. The trajectory's all messed up. This is probably gonna crash in a fiery explosion here. We got some zombies hanging off here. Actually, ooh, too many of those. Get out of there. I'm gonna borrow this guy here. Duplicate once. And we're gonna have him kind of like maybe fall it off. Like, ah, he like he, he let go on accident. Maybe one more. Maybe another Elvis dude over here. You know, maybe he was like falling as well. Let's try to make him look like they're falling. Ah, wah. This guy's kind of falling too. Like, wah. His legs straight up. Ah, ah they're falling, they're falling. Wow, this is looking crazy. I also have this dude here charging this guy here. Now, we haven't put in their eyeballs yet. That's going to take a while. Or not their eyeballs, but their green, goopy, bloopy bloops. Okay, let's go ahead and try to get that going here. This is the hard part, guys. This is the part that takes forever. Oh, one done. <laughs> Just kidding. Each one needs like four, at least. Okay, guys, check it out. So this took a little bit to do here. But every single zombie has a bunch of their green little zits all over their stupid little faces here. Okay, look at that. They got little zits everywhere. Hold on, let's, let's spruce it up a little bit here. Oh, jeez, OB, that's too many. I'm, I'm getting very good at using both hands when I play now, though. So this is good practice here. Look at that guy. He's really infected. Holy moly here. Okay, so this guy's over here. 
He's gonna be uh, putting up his hands here a little bit here. We're gonna start making a scientist, the, the, the defensive guys here. Let's go ahead to the workshop here. Give him their weapons here. Pew, pew! He's holding them up. He's holding them up. Wow, this guy's running for his life. Oh, jeez. Maybe we have a zombie. No, no more zombies. I think it's enough zombies here. We don't want too many, but we want enough. We want like that, that amount right there. That's a good amount here. Um, let's see here. What else do we need? We need more, like, scientists here, yeah? Maybe we have an astronaut here? Maybe he's, like, jumping out of the the spaceship window because he knows this is going down. Is that even possible? I don't know if it's possible, but he's going for it. Or maybe he evacuated? <laughs> he jumped out somehow, magically jumped out when all this is going down here, and we're going to give him a parachute here. Ah, uh, there's that parachute. I knew I had a parachute somewhere. This is not people parachute. This is, like, uh... Like, uh, when they're coming back from space, but, and it's like on a little uh, ship here, and it floats down and lands in the ocean. But we're going to make this into a people parachute here, because why not? First of all, let's be honest here. Look at that. People parachute. <laughs> what? <laughs> why is he coming down now? I don't know, man. He's coming back to a bad place. He's coming down to a bad, bad place. Holy freaking moly, guys. This is looking absolutely crazy, isn't it? Jeez. This is insane. I like this. Uh, we need more people, though. Got some girl scientists running around here. Ooh, maybe, maybe, uh, a person is tripping? Not her, she's running. You know, girls always trip in horror movies. It's, it's kind of annoying. Why can't dudes trip, you know? Ah, get out of here, get out of here! Uh, ooh, this scientist lady over here? She's gonna be, like, holding one off with her bare hands, dude. You know, she's crazy. She's in the fray of it all. She's like, ugh, get out of here! She's holding them off. She's trying not to get bit and get affected here, but it's not looking so good, is it? It's looking pretty bad here. Maybe we got people over here. Oh, I got an idea. I got a pretty cool idea. Maybe hit, she was trying to run, but her foot got caught. Now she's trying to fall a little bit. Help me, help me. Ah, ah, help me. Ah. This is looking crazy, guys. This is the most crazy zombie scene I've ever made. You know, this is nuts. Maybe she's running like this. She's running, she's running. She's running, she's booking it, she's booking it. Ah, but she's not getting very far, is she? Ah, zombies everywhere. Ah. We got a space dude over here. He's kind of on his back. He kind of fell a little bit. And he's like, oh no, he's looking up. He's looking up. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, what's gonna happen? Maybe uh maybe right here. Whoa. This is getting scary. A little too real, if you will, huh? Yeah, the thing is, is how many scientists were here? You know? Maybe we got a scientist back here, she's hiding. Maybe she has a walkie-talkie. She's calling for help. Oh, jeez. Kind of looking around. Hand on her hip a little bit. Like, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. She's hiding, guys. She's hiding, but she knows this is not going to go well. She knows. Maybe... Oh, I got an idea. I got a pretty cool idea. Hold on. Maybe they're trying to, like, get her up here. There's, like, people up here, and they're like, Hey! Hey, you! I'm up here! You know, like, they're hanging down a little bit like this. Watch. They're trying to make, like, a human ladder kind of situation, yeah? Hold them down like that. You know, something like that. And she's down there. Right now, she's on her phone, but, um... You know, she's gonna look up soon. Now, you might be asking yourself, Obi, why is the man not up here? And why is the woman holding everybody and not the man holding everybody? Well, because this lady right here, she benches four plates. That's 405. That's 405 pounds. This dude, he's lucky to pull up two plates. It's like 145. If we're going into, like, Olympic bar stuff and junk like that. But I don't know. You know? I don't know. They're making a little human bridge here to try to help their friend out. Um, maybe we got a person in here. Let's throw her here. She's trying to, like, open a door, but it's jammed. Oh, Jesus, jammed. She's like, oh, please open. Just please open. Why is this jammed? Ah, who built this? Ah, I can't get in. Uh, maybe we got someone over here. Maybe they're, like, trying to run to the door. You know, he's just running, he's running, he's running, trying to get inside. Gotta lock the doors! Gotta lock the doors! Ooh, can we do something with this here? We need, like, let's see here, airport. What's it using? Yes, this guy in his vest here. Or, I want this guy, actually. Yeah. Oh, we got so many blue guys, do we? We have a lot of red. We have a lot of blue and white. Maybe a red-colored guy. Put him in here. Maybe he's, like, looking out the window, like, what is going on? What is all this? What is happening? Whoa! Whoa, jeez! You know, we need truck drivers here. Oh, maybe... 
the two guys. You know? The partners. They go around fueling the ships together. That's cool. Maybe he's kind of like on the hood a little bit. Not on the hood, but he's kind of like climbing out a little bit to kind of get a better look. You know, he's trying to see... What's going on? What's going on over there? I can't see! So he's like climbing, peeking over the roof here. Whoa, jeez. Whoa, Jesus, right. This is looking crazy, guys. What else do we need? I think we're getting pretty close to being done here. Well, all right, guys, there you have it. There's our zombie scene. Let's go ahead and look at it one more time and explain what happened here. So someone was loading these crates up, right? And someone, someone evil, who we might see in a future episode here, stored zombies in one of the crates. The crate got loaded up here. This young man was opening the crates, and before he could even figure out what was happening, he got ambushed by zombies. Zombies everywhere. They spread out like a swarm of bees. They were climbing up here to pull him out of the rocket. This guy saw what was happening and jumped out because he knew this rocket was off trajectory. It's going to hit this. It's going to flip out of control. It's going to explode in the ocean. And his best chance of survival is to float down. And hopefully, hopefully, he can outrun the zombies. We've got people over here running inside the buildings here. we got a little, little train of people. Hey, get up here, man. Get up here. Oh, we got people running. This lady's holding them off with a weapon here. People are falling over. Whoa, jeez. Whoa, jeez. This door is stuck over here. Woo! Yeah. That zombie stuff, all right. So there you have it, guys. There's our space station here. Um, Maybe in the future, guys. Maybe we'll do something, like, on a different planet. You know? Maybe a different planet with zombies got to a different planet or something. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, or a prison. I kind of want to do a prison breakout. I have one in my streamland over there, but I kind of want to do a different one. Like another one. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Tiny Town. The zombies going to space kind of thing here. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a big old fat thumbs up on this video. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments below. And if I forgot anything for space stations, I'm sure I did. I never know how to build space stations. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Wherever you are, I'm just waving everywhere. Bye-bye. You over here? There? Bye-bye.